Namaste, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. Hum ajahe, kaise he a. And today we're going to show you how we've made some masks now that we've been locked at home with the coronavirus. For now, a while. And now um, our state governor has said if you go outside the house anywhere, you should be wearing a mask. So. Yeah. We wanted to show you how we made some masks, and then I did a little research and um, found out some different materials that would work better or not so good. Um, so definitely you can kind of use some makeshift stuff at home, which is what we started with. Yeah. Like this was our original one. Um, so it's only one layer and not probably the best material. And we found some elastic on an old shirt, um, but it worked. When I went outside, it, it stuck to my face. But after reading this article about, like, you might want to do at least two layers or more, depending on the fabric. Um, so this was probably not the best attempt, and this was definitely our first attempt. Yeah. And then um, my friend from work sent us this one, which I then used to make our own. So which this, has been, like, the best so far. Right. So these ones are the better options. The material's a little bit thicker. Um, so hopefully the, and I left a hole in this to put a filter. They talked about coffee filters being the best for keeping the germs out, but they were talking about how it's hard to breathe. So I probably won't again put the coffee filter cause it was a little bit hard to breathe when we were using it. Um, but this we kind of folded so that when you kind of open it up, if you open it up, Anjali, yeah. and you can um, put it on and it covers your nose. Now it's not perfect. But it's more like a hospital mask, so. Right. <laughs> I'm smiling, but they can't tell. Yeah, I know. So then you would pull it down. Yeah, I know. So this would definitely cover your nose and face. If you have glasses, sorry, if you have glasses, I think that helps too, because you're not supposed to touch your eyes. You're not supposed to touch your face. Um, so these were our better options. Now, this was like, extra elastic we had on some old shirts and stuff this was just material we had left over um that we made this out of yeah. with and i do not have a sewing machine here i'm not really a sewer but i have a needle and thread so i hand sewed it by hand and i used some ironing sticky stuff too and i'll show you how we did it this if you have those things at home if not um my husband was saying that most Indians carry like a handkerchief, which is what we would call it here, or um, some kind of towel that you use to wipe your sweat that you always keep. Something like that. Um, this is actually a, a baby washcloth, but I think anything that you that's a decent thickness that you could double up and put over your face and, and somehow sew some elastic. Um, the article also talked about paper towel which I thought was interesting was one of yeah. the better ones and um, Facebook somebody did a paper towel if you folded it and stapled two rubber bands to the ends that would be your mask the rubber bands would go around your ear um, I can show you one of those later too I think we have a couple rubber bands yeah but too like a lot of women in India have scarves and that would be something and then else you could just like double yeah. it up a lot you'd have to double it's definitely thin so this wouldn't do well one layer, but if you did two or three layers definitely. or four, I would definitely do at least four. This is kind of a thinner, as you is. can see. But it, the thing is, when you do, even though you do like a lot of layers on it, it's definitely easier to breathe because it is a thin layer. Right. And then you could wrap it around your neck and your face. Um, I feel like most women in India would have more. some kind of scarf thing that that you could use so definitely many things that you could make shift around your house if you don't have a sewing machine and fabric and elastic and all the things you might need to make one obviously yeah. the medical ones are the best ones but nobody can buy them right now and even some of the people in the medical field don't even have them so this is what we're makeshifting do at the Jan family and we'll show you how we make one and um and you can see if it's something that you want to do at home or let us know how you've been making masks at home or what you're doing if you have to go outside um, to cover your face and keep yourself safe. So yeah. take this seriously. There is over 2 million cases worldwide. Um, the numbers are going up 
significantly. You know, here in the U.S., we have anywhere from two to six or seven thousand deaths a day, which is crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And so this is not a joke. This is serious stuff. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, go back and watch a couple of our videos. Modi talks about the seven things to do um, to keep everybody safe. Do that right um yeah. it's it's not worth it it's not worth it keep in your uh lakshmi reka mm -hmm. circle um and and stay in your house as best you can and do what you can to stay safe um because this if it spreads in india like it's spreading in the us it's going to be disaster and uh we don't want that yeah. so stay safe So here are the things that we use to make this mask in particular. And like I said, I left this part open. Um, you could choose to close it. Um, I use heat and bond because I don't have a sewing machine. So I use that and I would actually have done this to the edge. I did it on the inside, but I would have used the heat and bond on this edge here and sealed this off. Um, and I only sewed up the sides. If you have a sewing machine, you're probably already making masks. Um, but if all you have is a needle and thread, and like I said, denim, they said, was probably one of the best, too. So if you've got an old pair of jeans and you want to make a mask out of that, um, probably one of the better things. And anything else that you can use, just you might want to double up the fabric to make sure that, A, you can still breathe out, but B, you don't get as much of the germs inside um, your mask through the that some of the porous holes. So I already cut this material and I'm gonna iron this edge down and I'll put heat and bond on this other edge so that I only have to sew up these two sides once I put the elastic bands on. So it will be like this side and this side. Um, like I said, you can use stuff around the house. Um, this is what I had, not a big sewer. So the heat and bond, if you don't have that but you have needle and thread, um, I, I did this on a fold on purpose so that I would have to sew less. Um, so that's my suggestion. If you only have needle and thread, don't make it hard on yourself. But... So here I've ironed it. So it has some folds in it. Like I said, I did half, so I don't have to do the bottom. And now I'm going to take this heat and bond strip and glue the top shut and keep the sides open so that I can put the elastic sew the elastic air bands on um, in the end. Okay, so I ironed the top shut. Like I said, you can sew it. And then I'm gonna put these little tabs here and um, sew the edges together. So here is the finished mask. Once you sew up the edges, the elastic on it and puff it up so you can wear it, um, this is what it looks like. So we just wanted to show you what we've done, you know, being stuck at home and not having a lot of resources. These are some of the things that we've used to make a mask. So stay safe and uh, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. And join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.